What about it, John? We're gonna go get some fish today. Cody, what do you think? <laughs> Captain Taterhead is gonna put us on some trigger fish today, hopefully. We all just got off work. We had a little pretty window, hopefully. Leave Billy Goat Hole. We'll run about 15 miles if you can't get on some trigger fish. We only keep three, one a person. See y'all out there. All right, boys, let's get it. Get some of these Squidwards. Yes, sir. I'm not the... I'm, I'm not the captain today. I'm the captain now. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Alright, I got you a fresh squidward head on there. Cap says we own them. Let's see. I'm getting smashed. There we go. Get him up, good. That's a trigger. Are we still on top of the structure? No, no. Okay. Hey, until you get colored, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep holding us for John. John, you're, all, I'll see your fish, Brandon. You, you just keep fishing, John. All right. Big hey, trigger. Let me know when you see color, Brandon. Well, this water is like garbage, so <laughs> I'll see him when it gets on the top of the water. I see him. It should be about 30 feet. I saw him on the top I see him. We got him. That's the trigger. We got a garbage can lid, boy. Yeah. Woo, look at him pulling that he drag. Got a little fight to him. He saw that boat. He saw. He got a little fight. Hey, John, Dude, he is just stripping. John, you're still on it. Come on now. Look at okay, that sucker, on. man. <laughs> there we go. Try to take it easy, Will. Yeah. yeah it's a decent one. Yeah, it's Probably about seven pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Not even in the neck. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Give me some. Hell yeah. Look right, at that. Man, that's a fat one. Y'all, yeah. look at that one. Oh, I thought I was almost feeling. Yeah, it's a little snapper. That is a pretty good trigger there. Let's, let's see what he is on the measuring stick here. 20, 21 and a half. 21 and a half. There we go. He swallowed that hook too. Awesome. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. Put it in neutral for a second. Yeah, I'm in neutral. Yep. John, drop it. Come on, it's a trigger. You tell me I'm gonna catch all three of these. Wait, I gotta give you the ride. <laughs> tell you what, how about you do something that's gonna get the John? That's not, I'll call it trigger fish. That's the better idea to me if you give the John. This is probably about average. There he is. <laughs> hey, keeper. There we go. Uh, yeah. It's number two. Number two. Hopefully, I can get a uh, get back. 
He is 19 and a half. There we go, y'all. Look at them teeth. What's going on, y'all? It's the next evening. We only managed to get two trigger fish. We started running out of daylight. The current was bad, but we do have dinner. I've got my wife right here. We're fixing a clean old trigger fish up. I'm gonna make a little recipe. Lemon, pepper, garlic, salt, some butter, throw it in the oven, cook it. I'm gonna make her try it. She hasn't had fish in like, what, four years? She's tried fish one time, so we're gonna see how it works out. I know she's gonna like it. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. Alright y'all, we're back in the kitchen here. We got our trigger fish fillets and I actually took some of the meat off the throat here. This is throat pieces. I'm gonna uh, fry those on the side. We got some lemons and we're gonna keep it simple today. Just some garlic salt, lemon pepper and uh, some Zatarain's fish fry for the trigger fish throats. We're gonna go ahead and put our oven to 350. Well, we'll go put it on 370. We'll hit start. That's the temp we're gonna bake at. All right, y'all, so before we put any seasoning or anything on, we're gonna put some uh, olive oil on this fish. And the reason for doing this is so that the seasoning will stay on the meat a lot better. Add a little more fat to this meat because this is real lean meat. After you do that, you wanna grab a knife and I like to put some, some slits in the meat here, just like that. Put about three or four slits. That way it holds the juice better. And you have a place to put your butter. You don't have to do this, it's just something that I do. All right, so after you do that, you wanna grab some lemon pepper or whatever seasoning that you like. You wanna use lemon pepper. Put a pretty good bit on it because obviously you're not putting seasoning on, seasoning on both sides of the meat, just one side. Evenly spread it on there. Put some garlic salt on. And like I said, you're gonna grab some butter and put it in these slots right here. Just like so. Two lemons, if you like lemon, go ahead and squeeze some juice on there. You can do this now or you can do it halfway through while it's cooking. I'll just go ahead and do it now. This adds a little more juice and flavor to it. And there you go. There's a fully prepared trigger fish fillet with the skin on. And we're just gonna wait for the oven to heat up. I'm gonna throw both these fillets in there. And while that cooks, I'm gonna fry up these uh, trigger fish throats. All right, y'all, we got the oven at 370 now. We got our two plays. Go ahead and throw this in there. And then depending on the thickness, it could take anywhere between 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Look who showed up, Raymond. What's up, man? He, uh, he heard we was cooking food, so he decided to show up and bring some, some drinks, some beverages. We'll get our trigger fish throats going here for a good appetizer. Look who showed up, oh, man. the man himself, Captain Potato Head. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, here's the throats. Y'all let me know, mm. what's it taste like? Fine to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice little appetizer. Man. Check that out, look at that white meat. 
All right, y'all, I think the wife chickened out on this cook. Hopefully next time we can get her to try some fish. If y'all enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me and drop a comment below and let me know what you thought about the video. And as always, we'll catch you back out on the water next time.